All right, guys, it is time to have a conversation that I predict many in the audience are not going to like. Uh, I have seen this trend over the last few days as I and others have been covering CPAC, the Republican conference over the weekend. And the trend is people saying, hey, progressives, Trump is over. Forget about Trump. Don't talk about Trump. Don't talk about CPAC. Never mention Donald Trump again. He lost. He's gone. He's irrelevant. Now, I must operate in reality. And the reality right now is that there are two major political parties in the United States. One of them is the Republican Party and their candidate, Donald Trump, received 74 million votes in 2020. That very same Donald Trump easily crushed everyone in the CPAC straw poll from this weekend, which we looked at yesterday. The numbers are not even close. Now, I know a lot of people want to wish or do wish Donald Trump was irrelevant. But no one other than Trumpian Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is even polling more than one percent right now in the CPAC straw poll. As you can see in the results that we have on screen, Donald Trump polled 70 percent in the CPAC straw poll. Ron DeSantis was at 21. And then you've got a bunch of one percenters, Rand Paul, Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz and Tucker Carlson. Of those people, I think only Tucker Carlson even has a shot at significantly growing his level of support. Tucker Carlson decided I want to grow my level of support and maybe look at being the Republican nominee partially because of his media platform. So I wish Trump weren't relevant, but ignoring him won't make him irrelevant. Trump is in complete and total control of the Republican Party. He owns the Republican Party right now. We could wish him uh, 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 we, we could wish that he be irrelevant, but he's not. And much the same way that not paying attention in 2016 is partially what led him to winning the Republican primary and subsequently becoming president of the United States, pretending that this guy doesn't have an incredibly devout, fervent, feverish following could potentially lead to the exact same thing in 2024. And there's people already emailing me saying they don't want to hear it. I was one of the people that made this mistake in 2015 and 2016. I overestimated the intelligence of the Republican electorate. When you overestimate their intelligence, you get crushed. And I never thought they would be so ignorant that they would make Trump their nominee, but they did. And then many on the left, myself included, didn't really take the threat of Trump seriously in the general election. And next thing you know, he's president of the United States. He's mishandling covid. He's humiliating us globally. And the rest is history. Now, Trump won by very few votes in a few states in 2016. He lost by slightly more in 2020. But again, it was not that many votes and not that many states that pushed the electoral victory to Joe Biden, the popular vote victory. Of course, Biden ran away with. And this level of devotion from the Republican Party who were activated by imaginary threats of Joe Biden's communism and Joe Biden's Marxism and Kamala Harris's socialism, they are ripe for crushing Democrats in 2022 and 2024. Now, political scientist Rachel Bittacoffer has been writing about this quite a bit. She feels people aren't paying enough attention. We're going to speak to Rachel. I believe it's on Thursday this week, and that's assuming she's fully recovered from her appendicitis. She's been tweeting about it. We wish her well. Uh, and she is very concerned about this as well. Uh, I understand being sick of Trump and being completely embarrassed that he's still getting this adulation and support from the Republican Party. But this guy is very much in control right now. Is it sad that these are the people leading the CPAC straw poll right now? Of course, it's sad. Is it globally humiliating that after everything we've suffered, including, I mean, the deadly mismanagement of the covid pandemic that Trump did? Is it globally humiliating that he's polling 70 percent of the CPAC straw poll? Of course it is. Of course it is. It's a global humiliation without a doubt. But this is what it is. And he may win and we don't gain anything by ignoring it. And in fact, I think we're more at risk of that happening if we just pretend that Trump is a bygone at this point in time. If you disagree with me, I want to hear from you, but it can't be a personal attack, guys. It really can't. Uh, if you if you believe that the left ignoring Trump would make a difference, we disagree, but I'm open to hearing why. And we'll have more about uh, this particular story on our Instagram. If you're not following the David Pakman show on Instagram at this point, I don't know what you're doing. Crossword puzzles, maybe, which are fun, by the way. But Instagram is cool too. Uh, follow us on Instagram at David Pakman show. We will take a quick break and be back with much more right after this.
I'm really excited that uh, one of our sponsors today is Helix Sleep. I sleep on a Helix mattress at home. I absolutely love it. And that's why I reached out to them about sponsoring the David Pakman show. Buying a mattress in the past was always a huge guessing game for me. I didn't know what I actually needed. I didn't know what I would like. But Helix has a sleep quiz on their website. You tell them your body type, your sleeping position, your back pain issues you might have. And their tool matched me with a mattress that is perfect for me. It's cool enough at night. It's the right firmness. I generally just do way better sleeping these days because of the mattress. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress for the last two years by both GQ and Wired magazine. It is well deserved. I can tell you firsthand every Helix mattress comes with a 10 year warranty. You can try the mattress risk free for 100 nights and they will even come pick it up at your house if you don't love it. But I know you will. All of my viewers will get up to two hundred dollars off your order and you'll get two super premium pillows for free when you go to the link right underneath this video.